Gnosis has steadily grown. From a slender 130-page booklet listing 106 so-called mental disorders, the DSM has bloated. Thank you so much. Welcome back. You're watching The Echo on TV, episode number eight. We are talking about another tool of Domino's Down, which is psychotropic drugs. Um, the clip that you just uh, watched um, was uh, actually, uh, the name of the clip is, um, I forgot the name of the clip, but uh, it was about um, the effect of uh, psychotropic drugs on uh, uh, us, on uh, people generally. Uh, as you saw in the clip, number one, I just wanted to um, have a disclaimer right here. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a physician. I'm actually a doctor, but <laughs> not uh, a medical doctor. Uh, I'm not trying to diagnose anything. I'm not trying to give you any uh, psychotropic uh, suggestion or psychological s suggestion, diagnosis. diagnosis. All I'm trying to do is uh, echoing what other psychi psychiatrists and psych psychologists would say about the psychiatric uh, industry and pharmaceuticals. Um, it's up to you to decide. Um, uh, like I said, I'm not saying that uh, there are not people who are um, psychologically, uh, you know, being patient and uh, being diagnosed by a, uh, a situation and uh, a problem. But all I'm trying to say is the number of people who are diagnosed by uh, psychological disorder and is growing every year. You might think, okay, it's because the population is growing, but I'm talking about the number of disorders. That is a little bit uh, out of uh, usual and out of norm that why the the number of disorders are growing. Um, Jim was talking to me about uh, you know there are people who are really they do have bipolar disorder, and I'm not saying that they don't, but every one of us has a bad day and a good day. Uh, today, for instance, I had good times and sometimes bad time, and. When I was, when I had good times, I was happy. When I received the bad news, I was kind of upset. Anybody, any of those uh, psychiatrists could have uh, described me as a person with uh, bipolar disorder. You know, that, that's another thing. Or sometimes you could be very anxious about your test, about passing the test. Any psychiatrist could describe you as a person with anxiety disorder. Huh? What do you think about that? I think it would be easy to have anxiety. We're all supposed to have anxiety. Mm -hmm. You know, it's how, how we deal with our uh, different situations. Um, I know that uh, I can see myself, you know, be, give, be given a placebo and saying, this will help make you calm yeah. you down. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, because the doctor told me it's going to help me, you know, psychologically, my mind's going to think it's going to help me, you know, yeah. whether it's really doing anything or not. Yes, yes, very true. And um, many psychologists are saying now that even depression is something that is a natural human state and that it, you know, it's the body and mind's way of sifting through uh, events. Yes. And, uh, and, uh, Almost, almost universally, people come out of depression, so whether they take psychotropic drugs or not. Yes, very true. And uh, just wanted to point out, there are natural cures for uh, psychological or uh, psychiatric uh, disorders that they never want you to learn. And for instance, 
lots of us go through phases and depression phases are very common. If you're getting a divorce, it's very natural that you go through a negative phase, meaning you become negative, you kind of uh, uh, become aloof and don't want to get out, don't want to socialize. The more you stay home, the more you become depressed. You get to that point why it happens. Uh, there are suggestions, again, these are not, I'm not a medical doctor, so, you know, uh, this is the disclaimer. I'm just suggesting this uh, approach that you can take to basically solve your uh, common psychological problem. If you do have complicated psychological problem, you need to see your doctor immediately. So, um, the other thing that I wanted to point out is that, uh, uh, as you notice, the numbers of uh, the drugs that uh, have been increased within these last few years from 1964 to year 2000 was also very interesting. The amount of money that pharmaceuticals are making also was very interesting. Um, see, when everything is about making money, I don't know if somebody is telling me, telling me the truth or he wants to pay off the, the debt that he has on his yacht. So that makes me suspicious, especially if I go to his office and without any blood test, without any observation, scientific ob observation, he just gives me a prescription within a few minutes and diagnoses me with a disorder. So I should really uh, re-examine that doctor uh, that psychiatrist or psychologist. Uh, so that, um, anything that else that you want to add, uh, Derek? Uh, well, I, I think that they also operate on a, uh, a, a, a create a need and fill it, you know. If, if they're doing trials and they say, hey, this, uh, they're asking questions to the patient, you know, this is, you know, it's like the restless leg syndrome or L yeah. RLS. You know, it's yeah. like, hey, we can use this drug, give it a different name, and exactly. market it exactly. know, to to somebody. So it's like if you went out and saw Old Yeller, and you didn't want to cry at the end, we can give you a drug that's going to make Old Yeller feel like a, a happy movie. Yeah. And yeah. you know, quite frankly, we need to have those feelings. You know, exactly. it's like. Whether we, it, it would be like a lobotomy. If we had no, we'd be robots, yep. you know, uh, living, living robots. You know? Basically, you're saying you, we, we cannot expect to live in a one-season world. Yeah. Yeah, people live, uh, uh, in, people live with uh, different seasons and different uh, phases of life. So that's the nature of the uh, uh, universe and the humanity. But let's go, yes. Well, I, I just think another thing that can happen is that um, professions like psychiatry, almost like chiropractor, uh, uh, you know, they can keep people coming just be because, you know, they can coax people into continuing therapy when they, in a sense, uh, should have turned them loose long before. Yeah. Uh, and I think this happens many times where... Uh, uh, patient might feel like they want to hang on, but the doctor absolutely doesn't want to cut them loose if they don't have to because mm -hmm. it's, uh, uh, you know, uh, $120 every, uh, every week. Yeah, you know? very true. And last but not the least, if you notice, at the end of each, um, each um, commercial uh, for the new drugs, Paxil or Zoloft or whatever, um, one of the side effects lead to actually suicidal thoughts. That's very interesting. You want to get rid of your depression, you end up in the cemetery. I don't <laughs> get that, you know. I would rather to have a depressed brother or sister uh, than a dead brother or sister, so, or loved ones, whoever. Uh, all right, let's, um, if the next clip is ready, 
uh, I would appreciate Sam if you could throw 